time, but no one's paying attention. But right at the entrance, the corporate- Nah, what is this purge ass outfit? <laughs> Sets foot into the room fully armed. Now you're in the bathroom, right? Bro, bro, bro. Why you got your legs tweaking right now? Crossing them legs. Going crazy on the toilet. <laughs> My school shooting? Bro, so the fries man. facts. All I remember hearing was... Damn, 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 damn. If there's one thing about today's generation, it's the urge to Okay. These kids don't give a damn about nothing. And I blame social media. And of course, no daddy issues. Just think about it. How many times have you seen on social media ready to crash out? Even worse, self Itch. Is clout really that important? Bam. You about to sit down in prison with a nigga named Debo while he claps your cheeks and you call him daddy for the rest Hey, yo! But I feel damn. Yeah, I used to crash out too. Yes. Hey, yo. Really? See, here's the difference. See, I grew up in towns where kids have respect for elders. From the moment you were born, moms and pops demanded respect. Tim, did you take the trash out? No, pops, I was just. Wait a minute. So you think I'm a now? Damn. No, pops, I was just gonna. I already told you three times. Now I think you think I'm. No, pops. Damn. Right now. Oh, no. Keep that same energy. See, my pops is the type of parent when he tells you something, oh, he's only going to say it one time. Then he's going to light you up. Finish him. Nah, getting cookies that no pops, no pops. <laughs> yeah, cookies that no pops. The dads. the dads that have children and leave them for the rest of us to deal with their emotional issues. Which brings us to today's topic. School. Okay. Now, when it came to my school, our number one problem was gangs. See, I went to a okay. school gangs. Now, for the most part, everything was cool. As long as you mind your own damn business. Remember, I got to Bam. Ain't no way my pops gonna let me bam, do bam, bam, bam. Oh, what we happened? Safe, we had active shooter drills, which worked in the following manner. If the school comes under threat, first, all exits and windows should be secured to prevent access. Second, Attention. students and staff should be notified of the threat Locked and down. everyone should be accountable. Locked Third, no one is allowed Stay to enter away the from the windows. Fourth, police should be called and notified about the lockdown status. Now, in practice, sound good, right? But in Reality. What's what about it, reality? Just think about it. It's a beautiful day in school. Everyone's having a great time, but no one's paying attention. But right at the entrance, the couple. Now, what is this purge ass outfit? <laughs> sits foot into the room fully armed. Now you're in the bathroom, right? Bro, bro, bro. Why you got your legs tweaking right now? Crossing them legs, <laughs> going crazy on the toilet. Damn, that's cool lunch. Next thing you know, you start hearing shots going off. What the? Are those gunshots? Then you hear screaming coming from the opposite side of the building. Oh, now nah, that's crazy. Now you start panicking, right? So you go for help. 911, what's your emergency? Damn. In class, the teacher goes, Everyone, get under your desk. So the teacher locks the door, closes the blinds, and barricades the bad though. Now remember, you're still stuck in the bathroom all by yourself. And shots keep going off. Literally, the scariest moment of your life. So Watch you about Diddy, give me a video. Right in the back. And then it gets dead quiet. No one's talking, no more screaming, just nothing but silence. Now you hear the footsteps coming towards your no couch, and you get closer. And closer and closer. Oh God! Please don't let him see me. Meanwhile, the police outside haven't entered the building. Next thing you know, the culprit gets to the bathroom entrance. Oh, oh no! Nah. Damn, Tim, he's here. He tries to open the door, but it's locked. Please, God, please help me. So, my God, I got one question for you. What would you do? That might. Be is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to our school shooting. So it was a Friday. So my boy was in school shooting in the van. That all happened. This is real, Tim? Survivor! The week, now on most Fridays, we had the school football game. So okay. The day, we were going against the school rivals. Space chips, buddy. What y'all know about that? So I go to my mom like, Mom, can I go to the football game? Hey. Okay, but make sure you're careful. Okay, cool. So I get to the game, get to my spot, and start watching. Now remember, Bravo's night, right? Yeah, boom, 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 boom. We got all types of people from all over the city. Um, see, this started noticing something suspicious. See, from my seat, I noticed a certain vehicle driving by every okay. few minutes. Hmm, that's weird. That car's passed by here like three times already. My man is big sure. A few moments the, 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 the Negro census. I see the same car drive by once again, but this time the car stops at the parking lot. 
Now I'm thinking, cool, not a big deal. I'm tripping. So I get back to watching the game. The score's 14-14, and we got the ball. Now remember, gang territory. And even worse, damn, they lock and loaded. One loaded. location, horrible idea. Nothing but ops. So the next thing I hear is, won't you stop talking and do something about it? Now I'm like, hey yo, what the hell is going on over there? I look closer and see a little commotion. So I'm like, damn, here we go again. Yet again, gang territory. Bam. All I remember hearing was. Now, I don't know about you, but I've heard gunshots <laughs> too many times in my life. Immediately, my instincts turn on, I hit the ground, and the shots keep going off. Oh, God, please don't let them hit me. I'm hearing glass break, windows shattering, people screaming. Okay. Holy. Literally felt like an eternity. But then, I hear the off. And suddenly, Yo, bro, what type of gang gonna check a whole football stadium? <laughs> <laughs> a few moments go by. Everyone looks around, and sad to say, someone got hit. Now the Damn. whole is under chaos. Everyone's screaming. People still hiding under the bleachers. Drive by the, the football stadium is mad work, bro. It's shook. 911, what's your emergency? Hurry up, they're shooting. Sir, I need you to calm down. Calm down. We're about to die. What's the location? The high school. A few minutes later, the cops come flying in. Clear the area. The game gets canceled, and everyone exits the field. So fast forward, and I'm at the crib. Shook. Damn, Tim. I know not to go to tonight's game. Man, I'm never going back to another football game. So I finally get to sleep and onward, it's Monday morning. It's Monday! The principal comes on. Good morning, students and staff. As you all know, we had an incident last Friday at the football game. Two people were shot and are both under critical condition. The police have assured us that the incident is under... You're gonna take a sense. If anyone has any information, please come Back. Yo, is that granddad from the boondocks, bro, looking like, Hey, boy, don't you my damn orange juice. Say a prayer for the victims, and since that day, we have police officers in our school games at all times. See, I do these type of videos because I'm a father now. And there's nothing worse Damn. than getting a call that your child has lost their life in a school shooting. Damn, I've been, I've been there. My son's school had to go to lockdown because of a shooting in close proximity. And <laughs> please believe, I was more than ready to crash out on the school. I mean, I wish I could make videos like this. I got some interesting stories for y'all, too. It got resolved before escalating into the <laughs> property. See, so sad to say, but there's been at least 50 school shootings in the United States so far this year. Okay. And you would think by now we would have had enough of this. You would think we would have learned from this. How many more shootings will it take? How many more children's death will it take? How many more heartbroken families will it take for us to change? I truly believe it's an audience. Not the Vegeta meme. Let's focus on seeing the light. So spread love everywhere you go and let no one ever come to you without living happier. So Damn. the moral of the story. Hate has four letters, but so does love. Enemies has Get your letters, artists, bro. So what you mean? Line has five letters, but so does truth. Failure has seven letters, but so does success. Cry has three letters, but so does joy. And negativity nah, they can't. has ten letters, but so does positivity. Always remember, in life, you always have a choice. So choose the better side of it. And Damn. As always, live timeless. Damn. W more of the story. Positive message. Positive message.